first thing I'm going to start with is ASOS because these items I'm not unboxing. I've had them for over a week now, so but I love the pieces, so I really want to show them to you. I've not showed you them anywhere before yet. Let's get started. So, swimwear season is finally here in the UK and I've got some holidays coming up, so I'm still buying swimwear. This one in particular, I never go for high-waisted swimwear, but this one I could not resist. So it comes as separates. The top is a bandeau with cute little frills. It's gingham, but it's not black and white, it's red and white, which I love. I do have a black and white gingham one, but this, this is better, I think. So they're high-waisted and they fit, they kind of tug you in a little bit, so they, they make you feel slimmer than what you are. Normally, I find high-waisted swimwear, they're too tight and I'm left with like bulges, whereas this one doesn't do that. I stuck to my normal size in this, which probably helps because I do tend to go down a size. Fits perfectly. The top is a little bit tight, I think that just depends on your chest size. All in all, this and it's got such good response when I've worn it already. People have commented on how cute it is, and I wore the top with just some shorts as well, so it's perfect for on holiday, around the swimming pool, at the beach, and you don't wanna wear a top, you could just pop some shorts on and do what you gotta do. So next up, we have more gingham. I completely missed the gingham trend, and now I seem to be completely buying into it. I have so many gingham things in this haul and that I've purchased recently. This one is a blue and white check and it's got a little bit of red detailing. I've also been wearing a lot of red since I cut my hair and I don't know why. This has a really nice crisscross detail at the side, it's really delicate and feminine. It also has a kind of peplum style bottom to it, which is great, especially after being in Italy and eating pizza every day. It has these tassel details and very, very fine um, rope straps. For me, this is a really feminine piece. It's quite high on the neckline. It also has some kind of crisscross stitching at the top. So a lot of detail to it. I just haven't had the chance to wear this. I really struggle to wear peplum because I feel silly when I look down at myself. Ideally, I would like to wear white jeans with this or white culottes. Something along those lines. I've just not found the perfect pair yet. Then we have something which I have already shown you on my Instagram. It's this, and this is another item that has got a lot of love when I wore it. It is this floral printed day dress. It has that very milkmaid vibe to it. So it has these floor, colorful floral embroidery on the chest, and as well it has it along the bottom. It doesn't sit out, but um, it's quite puff, I would say like puffy-ish, it's not like A-line, and it has these nice, thick straps. Again, this is just an item that is perfect for summer holidays. It has a zip going all the way along the back, so it's easy to get into. I did go down a size in this, but I would recommend either stick into your normal size, or if you have a bigger chest, go up a size, because this was a little bit too tight on my boobs, and I don't really have boobs, so that's my suggestion on this one. <laughs> Lastly, from ASOS, I finally got myself a denim jacket. Now, a denim jacket is something I've wanted for quite a long time, and I have two white ones in my wardrobe, but no denim, like blue denim ones. Sorry, that's blue snoring, by the way. Can you hear? This one is a cropped one. I got this again in my normal size. I kind of wish I'd gone up, because I do like them quite boyfriend fitted and loose. But the quality of this is really nice. It's really heavy. The buttons are very secure. This is just something I'm gonna have for many years. It's kind of an investment piece. I find denim jackets can come across very boring, but paired with the right thing, they can look very cool. I enjoy pairing denim with really girly things to take that girly edge off them. But I love this. This is, yeah, this is one of, this is a favorite of mine. I have one more thing to show you from ASOS. These wedge shoes. I was going to say sandals, but they're shoes. So I got them in the sandy colour. They're ribbon tied. So these are very, very easy to walk in. Despite, I really thought that because they were like ribbon tied, I thought they would be quite difficult to walk in. 
they're not. They're really, really comfortable. If you're going away and you want to wear some heels, or if you're a person who doesn't feel comfortable wearing a high heel during the day, these are for you. These are really, really nice. I am looking to add some more wedges to my collection because I'm falling slowly in love with them. These are also available in black. It's just finding the right pair that are comfortable enough to actually wear. So next we have, next, <laughs> I'll start with some of them things. I do have to unpack them, so bear with me. We have this monstrosity here. Hooray for next next day delivery. Oh, there's going to be so much hanging up to do after this. This is a lot better than what I was imagining, I must say. Oh my god, I didn't... I thought this looked really thin on the on the website, but it's, oh, it's so soft. So I think this is actually um, part of the... Yes, it's part of the next downtime collection. So it's kind of like pyjama wear. But I wanted this because here in the UK, we are not having the best summer and we have a lot of days where, yeah, the rain comes and it doesn't go away for a few days. I wanted something that I could wear, just a white t-shirt, a pair of jeans and throw on something really comfortable on and this is it. So I don't care that it's downtime. I will be wearing this out. This is so lovely. It has really large pockets. It just feels, oh my god, I want a blanket like this. So this is £35 and I think if you were purchasing it for evening time or bedtime, I would get my wear out of it and wear it in the day. And these come in small, medium or large sizes. So it's no lie that last time I done my next haul, I'll leave a link up in the corner for you. I love Next Denim. It is so comfortable, so fitting on the waist and the length because they offer petite is perfect for me. They also offer regular and tall too. So I got these boyfriend jeans. I kind of wish they were more like a blue Levi denim colour. But they have like a wash over the front. They're mid-rise and they're boy fit. Uh, they were £26 and they have a little roll up at the bottom. Which you can change so you can have it bigger or none at all. Depending on what you want. I don't think I have any jeans this colour so that's possibly a good thing to add to my wardrobe. I feel like this shouldn't be a summer haul because I've got a few bits of knitwear. This is from Next and this was £30. Um, what I really loved about it was that on the back it has this bow detailing tie up and I think when jumpers have this it's kind of a really feminine feel to your everyday jumper. This is again in small, medium or large. It looks quite big for a small but yeah so I would recommend sticking to your size. Then I also got this shirt because I really, really love Next shirts. I recently got the white soft shirt and it was perfect. The, the fabric, the fit, it's been well over warm. This was £30 and I like the really large pocket and I like the length of the sleeves and yeah, you have the choice of unbuttoning them as well. But I think it's just quite a relaxed, a relaxed fit shirt. Bits like this in your wardrobe, you just can't go wrong. Moving on to accessories. Now, I have been after a woven weaved bag for so long. This is the one. So this is perfect. The straps are so firm. It's so well structured, but you can hold a lot in it. A lot of them are quite small. This is like a great size for taking away with me. I could also take it as a travel one. Put my laptop in it as well. And this was £28. So really impressed with this. I think this is probably the only one that I need for the whole summer. Ooh, I love the colour of these. Moving on to footwear from next. These I really love. I love that they have a wooden sole, like a wooden effect sole. They were £24 and they come in all different colours, but I like the cut. Ooh, one's gone. I like the cut, so they kind of go up and down, and I think they'll be very flattering. Like the colour is perfect. They also look very comfortable. I can't wait to wear these ones. These, how cute are these? These, these just remind me of Clueless. So these ones were again at twenty-eight pound, but they are so perfect for daytime wear. And if you're not a big heel person, the heel is quite blocky, but. Do you notice how the heel kind of goes down in a slant? 
So it's a nice little detail. For £28, I think these are fantastic. They're like a crushed velvet. Sorry, I'm like looking at them, not even showing you them. They're like a crushed velvet and they're a minky pink. They're a leather sole. These are lovely. They have a square toe at the front, which is perfect. They, again, they come in different colours, black and nude, I believe. But I went for the pink because I think when I wear um, a lot of denim or a lot of black, these will stand out. It's always nice to have like a statement shoe. Ooh, these are from the next signature, Luxury Fit. Oh my God, these look so big for a four. Are you kidding? These look huge. They look like a size eight. I was inspired to get these by the Ganny, I think it's Ganny pair. They have like a really nice bow on the back of them, but I couldn't find them in my size. So I hunted online for a pair that had a kitten heel and that was sling back. Now, I never ever thought I would go to a kitten heel ever, ever, but I've seen quite a lot of people styling them and I really, really like it. So I'm just gonna pop one on just to see if it fits because they look so big for a four. It fits. My inner 18 year old self is screaming, what are you doing with a kitten heel? I swore I would never ever wear kitten heels. I remember having a pair of kitten heels when I was probably 16 and I couldn't walk in them. They kept slipping off my feet, but I kept wanting to wear them. These were 36 pound. They have them in leopard. They have them in white and red. I went for the black pair because they're, I'm not gonna feel very comfortable wearing them in the first place. So sticking to black, I thought, I can't believe Blue is snoring in the background of this, I'm really sorry. Um, I thought going with black, I will feel more safe and more in my comfort zone. So they have a really nice point. They're this kind of mink pink colour inside. But I also like that it's not pointy on the toe area. Sometimes, sometimes they can go off into a point and you can see the tops of your toes. These kind of round off really nicely. They also have the elasticated bit for your foot. So I did contemplate going down a size in them, but I'm glad I didn't because they're quite fitted. Who am I turning into? I swear, what is happening to me? I really like these. These. Now I have, I wore a pair of these similar during Fashion Week and they were white and they were from ASOS. These ones are black and they were 45 pound. But how expensive do they look? These look really designer. The point is perfect. They're so pointy. They look comfortable. Like a kitten heel has to be comfortable, doesn't it? So that is everything from Next. We still have a few more items from Misguided. And that's in this little bag here. So, so I got this because I've had my eye on this, this kind of off the shoulder jumper for quite a long time on Misguided. They're kind of there throughout the whole year. I thought this over a little tea dress would be really, really nice. So again, like I said, when it's a day that you're looking out and you're not sure what the weather's like, um, taking a jumper with you and throwing it on if you get chilly is a really great idea. Quite loose fitted as well, which is perfect if you want to put it over something. So I'm glad I got this. I have, I have had my eye on this color as well for such a long time. Quite thin, it's quite um, lightweight as well, which is perfect. This one, oh, it's quite tight, I like that. Sometimes they can be really loose. So this is an off the shoulder stripe top with fluty sleeves and a frill at the front. I went down a size on this because I thought with the frills and the fluty sleeves, sometimes misguided items can come up a little bit big. I think these kind of things look better once they're on rather than off the hanger. So I'm really hoping it does it justice once I try it on. Yes, so this I imagined this top so you can't, it doesn't really do it justice until it's on another item. It's quite see-through, which it didn't look on the website, but it's quite sheer. A nice lacy black bra underneath would go nice. So this I imagined for daytime with a pair of light blue skinny jeans and perhaps like the kitten heels or the kitten mules. It has um, quite long flowy sleeves, which are a little bit fluty, but not over the top. And at the front, it kind of ties into a knot and it has like a deep plunge effect. So for the daytime, it might be a bit too much, but I think once it's on, you can dress it down, definitely. More gingham. Oh, the fabric isn't what I expected. I expected it to be cotton, but it's kind of a stretchy, visco kind of material. Oh, I'm not sure on that. I really wanted it to be a cotton, 
So this I had my eye on for quite a while because I really wanted a gingham dress that tied over the shoulders. But I wanted it in cotton. I'm not sure if I'm going to like this one. You can also see the stitching at the back where the label has gone into it. It doesn't look very fitted either, which I like because it goes out towards the bottom. And lastly, we have this long stripe maxi dress. This is another item that looked really good on the website. It has this kind of keyhole part on the chest, but it also wraps and then it continues to wrap on the skirt on the lower half. So it's not like a full enclosed skirt. It has a kind of split at the front, but it's not a split because the wrap covers it, if that makes sense. It also comes with a belt, so you can put a nice bow at the front or at the back. And I like the fin straps, and I also like the high neckline. I did go down a size in this, hoping it would make it a little bit shorter, but it still looks quite long. So if I did wear it, I may have to pair it with some heels or some wedges. We shall see. So there you have it, a huge haul from me for summertime. Please don't forget to subscribe so that you see my uploads every Tuesday and every Thursday, and sometimes a little bonus video on a Sunday. So that's it from me, and I'll see you in my next video.